Post op assessment for hip replacement. We're going to check the five P's. You got paralysis, paresthesias, you got pain, pulse and pallor. Now don't forget to assess the site. We don't want them bleeding out all night. Because post op complications aren't all right. We're going to prevent. All that we can with the replacement, you must abduct, prevent dislocation and abduct. Don't you know that BC is preventable? Don't you know BCs are preventable? Yes, they are. BCs are preventable. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you do your post op assessment, be sure to check for signs of infection. Ooh, if it feels like it's on fire, you better get an order for Leviquin. Also, watch for an increased temp and redness around the site. Don't forget to check the vital signs. You don't want them going into shock. With hip replacement, you must abduct, prevent dislocation and abduct. Don't you know that feces are preventable? Feces are preventable. Yes, they are. Feces are preventable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now here is some teaching for a hip replacement. You got to be ready to hear the teaching that I'm saying now. Are you ready? No bending at the waist. No crossing your legs. Head up in the morning 60. Use an elevated toilet seat. Get up on the unaffected side, unaffected side, and prevent dislocation. Legs must stay abducted, cause PCs are preventable. PCs are preventable. PCs are preventable. Thank you very much. Muy interesante. Todo es tecnología. <laughs>